Big Bang is over! The James Webb Telescope detects 700 galaxies at the edge of our universe. On the morning of July 11th, 2022, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, unveiled the first images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful space telescope in history. Named after NASA's second director, the Webb Telescope underwent a 26-year development process. The patience, time, and resources invested by the scientists at NASA in the telescope have been rewarded by the cosmos. The images of distant galaxies captured by the James Webb Telescope are gradually revealing information that challenges our understanding of the universe. Could we become the Galileo of this new era? Subscribe to Space Getaway. Join us today as we embark on a journey to explore the mysteries of the universe from the dawn of time. One of the first achievements announced by the James Webb Telescope is the image capturing light from the SMACS 0723 Galaxy Cluster. This galaxy cluster, located 5.12 billion light years away in the constellation Pisces, provides a glimpse into the structure of the universe when it was just 600 million years old, measured from the starting point of the Big Bang. Scientists anticipate that the JWST can uncover even more about the formation or demise of stars and planets, the shape of black holes, or even the existence of extraterrestrial life. The latest information has somewhat fulfilled humanity's aspirations, as the images of 700 galaxies at the edge of the universe were sent back from James Webb. The evidence captured by infrared light has caused the scientific community to pause and reassess the models of the early universe. Can humanity overcome the shock of this knowledge and construct a new cosmological model based on these unimaginable discoveries? That remains an unanswered question. However, as Kenneth Sembach, director of the Space Telescope Science Institute said, today the ancient hidden part of the universe will reveal itself, and our understanding of the cosmos will forever be changed. So, what exactly has the Webb Telescope revealed about the universe? It is precisely the information that humanity has been searching for for ages. The genesis of the endless cosmic night with its stars. Among the 700 galaxies within the reach of the Webb Telescope's observations, astronomers have discovered six candidates that could overturn the entire theory of cosmic formation. The entire knowledge that we have built up until now may be flawed, as the images from the Webb Telescope reveal galaxies approximately 13.5 billion years old, containing hundreds of billions of stars with masses equivalent to those of the Sun, just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. This means that they are comparable in size to our own Milky Way galaxy. According to a recent study published in the journal Nature, these newly discovered galaxies are so large that they contradict 99% of the representative models for early galaxies in the universe. This has left scientists utterly perplexed. The current theory suggests that galaxies begin their formation from small stellar dust clouds and gradually grow over time, but new discoveries are proving the opposite. These six galaxies are not the oldest ones observed by the Webb Telescope. Last year, scientists discovered four galaxies dating back to approximately 350 million years after the Big Bang, but those galaxies were much smaller in size. Dr. Emma Chapman, an astrophysicist at the University of Nottingham who was not involved in the latest research, stated that further observations of other discoveries are needed before dismissing the current models of our universe. The research team is planning to gather spectroscopic images from the data sent back by the Webb Telescope to provide more accurate information about the age and allow for better estimates of the masses of the six new galaxies found. The James Webb Telescope's discoveries have raised intriguing questions about our understanding of star and galaxy formation. 
Until now, the process of star and galaxy formation has remained shrouded in mystery. Each year, the Milky Way produces one to two new stars, but some of the objects observed by the Webb telescope may generate hundreds of new stars annually and span throughout the history of the universe. If these findings can be verified, we will take a significant step forward in exploring and redefining the universe. Scientists have discovered strong absorption of ultraviolet radiation in the spectra of quasars, indicating the final stage of the reionization process in the early universe. However, it is important to consider that these galaxies could potentially be quasars or supermassive black holes. Further clarification will be needed through the infrared images obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope. Intriguing, right? We're almost halfway through the video. Subscribe to Space Getaway and press the bell icon to never miss a video from us. According to the prevailing theory of the processes following the Big Bang, the first stars began to form roughly 1 to 300 million years after the explosion. These early stars were exceptionally large and bright, playing a significant role in the ionization process of the universe. During this time, elements heavier than lithium which were produced in the nucleosynthesis stage of the Big Bang had not yet formed. The first stars were responsible for generating heavier elements through stellar nucleosynthesis. The majority of the primordial light in the universe may have been ultraviolet radiation emitted by these extremely hot early stars. The recent discovery of strong absorption of ultraviolet radiation in quasar spectra occurring approximately 900 million years after the Big Bang provides evidence for the final stage of reionization. This absorption indicates that the remaining neutral hydrogen in the universe was ionized during this period. However, the nature of these galaxies and their exact role in the reionization process will require further investigation, especially with the aid of the upcoming infrared images from the Webb Telescope. The contradiction arises when considering the timeline of events based on previous understanding. According to existing theories, the reionization process was expected to occur more than one billion years after the Big Bang. After reionization, it was believed that more stable stars would form and it would take billions of years for galaxies to begin appearing. However, recent observations have revealed the existence of mature galaxies as young as five to seven hundred million years old. This raises questions about the theory of dark energy and the rate of cosmic expansion. Are there still unknown factors about matter and energy that we have yet to discover? One possibility to consider is the influence of the initial massive stars that formed in the early universe. These stars, if very massive, would have had short lifetimes, lasting only a few million years. Some of these stars would have ended their lives in supernova explosions releasing heavy metals into their surroundings. Stars with masses between 100 and 250 times that of the Sun were predicted to be completely destroyed in such powerful explosions and most of the first stars fell within this mass range. The production of metals is significant because they are more efficient at cooling star-forming clouds compared to hydrogen, enabling the collapse of these clouds into stars. Even a small amount of metal production can have a substantial impact on star formation. The presence of metals in the early universe could have accelerated the star formation process and led to the formation of galaxies at a faster rate than previously assumed. The cooling effect of metals would have allowed the collapse of gas clouds into stars more quickly, thus reducing the time it takes for galaxies to form. This could explain the existence of mature galaxies at a relatively young age. The findings from the James Webb Space Telescope have provided valuable insights, but much is yet to be discovered about the intricate workings of the cosmos. Subscribe to Space Getaway, and if you want to see more space-related content, make sure to click on the video on your left. Thank you for watching this episode.